One of the very important things actually that I told you I was going to mention later is configurations. Now the LTD system actually allows you to build the loader up and have multiple configurations. You can save these configurations on your computer and you can actually send them to somebody else or we can save configurations at an event or from a team, say Dynasty's settings, and then make them available on the internet for other people to install onto their loader. So we can give you the best possible settings and you just download them onto your loader. Now, your loader will actually be able to take three configurations. So you can set your loader up as if it is three completely different loaders. Why is that important? Well, when you're actually playing, and if you're playing with a loader that's set to be extremely gentle on the paint, sometimes you'll find that you don't have quite enough force to drive the balls. Or for instance, if you're playing at an event, say in Phoenix, where the beginning of the day starts off extremely cold, so the paint is very fragile and very brittle and very hard on the shell. And then in the afternoon, the paint warms up and the paint gets a little bit softer and less brittle. Now in the morning, you need to be very, very careful about not driving too hard on that paint. So you can set configuration one to be very low on the torque level and very low on the speed setting. So it's just feeding hard enough to give you the rate of fire that you want, but not putting too much force on those balls. The trouble is, as you play through the day, you may find that all of a sudden, because the paint's getting softer, you need to drive a little bit harder to make sure you're still getting the consistency. One quick tap of the power button will put it into configuration two. Now configuration two, you could have set up to run harder. So you have middle road settings, so you're running it on speed three, force three. To make sure that, you're, again, you're putting the minimum force on the balls, but you're making sure that you're driving them hard enough and fast enough for the rate of fire that you want to have. And then one quick tap again, we'll go up to configuration three, and you can set configuration three to be another group of settings completely. So I can often set it as what I call YouTube mode. Everything's set to the maximum, great for showing off on videos online, but not actually much good for playing paintball. But you can set it up so that force setting three, or sorry, configuration setting three, has force five, speed five, and drives very hard. So if there's any problems, the paint's got soft, anything like that, you just make sure you've got enough force to play continuously. Now the most important thing about that is not running as hard and fast as you can, but running as slowly and as gently as you possibly can for the conditions you're playing. And it allows you to set the loader to be slow and gentle without the risk that it's not gonna be hard enough or fast enough to actually play and to be effective on the field. Because if you do end up with just two lower settings, you just push the button one time and you jump up to the next group of settings. There's a huge advantage in paintball if you can shoot the most fragile paint out of your guns and out of your loaders. Now, we've known this for years, which is why we developed things like the RF system, the magnetic clutch system, and you can actually now see that a lot of the gun manufacturers are starting to realize this too, and are actually concentrating on making guns that are very good at shooting fragile paint. Whereas many of the loader manufacturers are just trying to catch up with us in speed, what we're doing is giving you speed and the ability to really be effective and competitive on the field when you play. Now, when we talk about those configurations, the configurations can have any activation mode you want. So I could have configuration one running in RF, which is always gonna give you the fastest out of the gate speed. I could have configuration two running in eyes, which is nice and reliable and gentle on the paint. Then I could have configuration running in three, rather, running in sound activation, which is extremely reliable. You break a ball inside the loader because you're using very fragile paint or there's any other problems with the system or anything like that, you just push it into sound activation and you continue playing. And then what we will have, again, from the downloads that are coming from Hater Paintball is the ability to do hybrid modes and use all of the functionality at the same time. So you'll use RF when you first start playing so that out of the gate speed on the breakout and when you snap shoot is ultra fast. It uses the eyes to control the drive system to make sure you're never pushing too hard and you stop pushing as soon as the balls are loaded. And it uses sound activation to recognize things like when you open the lid and you pour paint in and reload to make sure that it primes the drive system. And then we have lots of other very cool functionality which is going to be released as software modules that you just upgrade via the USB port and that's going to be again in conjunction with the hater paintball guys. Okay, any questions, please feel free to post them below the video. Come find me in the PB Nation Empire Forum and we'll get them answered. I also have just set up a Twitter account, Simonized PB. If you want to follow me, my thoughts on paintball, what's going on down at the World Cup event, 
as I pit for the top teams in paintball and as we have a lot of fun at the uh, World Cup event in Florida and then over in Vegas. So subscribe to my channel and I'll get you all the latest stuff as it's coming out. Subscribe to twitter.com slash simonizedpb for the latest gossip as and when it happens live from the events. And watch out for some more, vid some more videos coming soon. Thanks a lot.